I'm standing in a communication trench which links the rear areas down to the front line and as you'll see even a communication trench is never a straight line there's a shell bursts in it or possibly worse the enemy get in otherwise they can shoot straight down combination of sandbags wrinkly tin steel pickets archaeologically they're still there to this day we're standing on trench boards and here we're actually passing a regimental aid post where the wounded will be treated before they're sent to the rear back there and every trench has a down trench and an up trench to ensure you don't meet wounded coming one way with your stores we're currently here on an up trench and we're going to go now down towards the front line this is the bit that faces the enemy the Germans on the other side of the valley here what we've got here is a very typical trench layout it's a series of crenellations like the top of a castle which it combines a fire step where the soldiers here are watching for the enemy combined with a traverse that divides that up and behind me we actually have an entrance to a mine dugouts are somewhat different that will drop down and go under the enemy so potentially they can be blown up and if we stand here for a minute we can appreciate that I'm six foot tall I'm actually fairly safe from enemy fire clearly it would come in from behind me if it was going to come in but what I can do now is turn left and go into our fire bay here one soldier on duty I can see some more coming down behind us he's uh, pretty well equipped he's actually being able to alternate between having a cup of tea with looking out towards the enemy and if we go down here we'll go past the gas alarm very very important then underneath a bridge over the top of the trench and then I think we've got a return to our right as well let's just press on a bit duck down I don't have a helmet and uh, we come into an area here and uh, oh, uh, I wasn't expecting this uh, but of course every trench has a latrine and in this case uh, it seems to be in use so perhaps we should go this way and not disturb our soldier it is worth saying that the enemy would target uh, latrines because they looked a little bit like mortar pits uh, but it also was a way of encouraging soldiers not to linger too much in the latrine now let's go this way towards the enemy so I'm coming out of the Russian sap looking forward into a trench that leads actually into a shell hole no doubt that will be occupied at night and if this is real I'm dead because I've just put my head above the parapet something you don't want to do and one of the great advantages of the Great War of being small is that you're less likely to get shot through the head to be honest uh, ahead of me is a wire entanglement to stop a direct assault from the enemy there's plenty of wire out there loads of shell holes and uh, let's be brave shall we uh, let's step up here which will be used at night and we can now look down into our trench and see what's happening and it actually is a working party coming through the system they're going to come into here bringing food and water tools for their work for the evening um, the rain is now starting to come in these guys are going to be here for another four days and frankly I don't envy them one little bit